I obtained a wireless card for the Dell and Spyron 9100. So let's go ahead and put this thing in. Hopefully this is the correct one. And it goes in here. These are the two uh, connections. I don't like that there was tape on the board like that. Um, let's see here. It'll come off like that. And I'm not sure if it matters which color goes where. I'm just going to make the selection at random here. I guess there's a 50% chance that we get it right. kind of run like that and then this sticks in like a piece of ram wood it's not sounding too good there we go Just kind of hide these wires down there like that this back on and I'll set these things aside in case I for whatever reason decide to use it without the wireless card again now let's see if uh, we can get the drivers installed and get it to work I'm gonna plug in the Ethernet cord because we need to download the drivers to the network. And even though the battery is working and it seems to hold for well over an hour, I'm going to plug in a power cord too just because we're doing a driver install. I don't want to risk the battery running out. It's been sitting for several days. I don't know how well the battery holds over time. Yeah, it could be flaky. It is an older battery. Whoops. We're going to start with uh, Window XP because I have the driver for it, so I know it's going to work. because I much prefer the mouse over the track thing. Okay. All right, so we're ready to go here. Let's log in. Okay, we have the found new hardware wizard. I don't know, this isn't really picking up too good. The lighting isn't the greatest in here for videos. Um, so, I mean, we'll just let it do this just for curiosity. I typically find this doesn't really work, but let's just try it and see what happens.
while that searches I will go ahead and grab okay yeah finished um, I'll just grab the driver off the server because I did that I'm pretty sure I downloaded the um, the driver yeah here we go I did not download the wireless card so I have to get it off of the internet I think we're going to find that there's multiple versions of the driver on the site, so let me just quickly check over here and see which what card this was. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the Broadcam card. Okay. So we'll go to uh, the Dell website. And that's right, we are browsing the web under a Windows XP. I'm just going to do a browse all products because the last time I tried to search this, it did not seem to have the serial number. Which I find kind of odd because they, they have a pretty lengthy uh, collection of legacy models on here. So I was surprised that they didn't have the legacy serial numbers as well but I can't complain I can ultimately still come here and get what I need okay so we have the Dell True Mobile 300 card. Um, hmm. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Well, let's see what happens. It's going to be. Well, that one's much newer. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one. It's an awfully big, uh, file. Put this onto the desktop for now. No, actually, in this case, it wouldn't have mattered if I had the serial number uh, detected correctly or not because that card is not what originally shipped with that machine. The serial number is only relevant for the configuration as it shipped. And this is taking a minute here, but it's working. Why oh, this is crooked? The uh, better tripod is downstairs. I probably should have just gone and gotten it because this one, this one, this stinks. We're in peak network usage time. It's almost 8 o'clock Friday evening. So that's why things are going a bit slower than usual.
Okay, it should be done any soon. There it goes. Okay. So, let's uh, open that up here. I'm going to close the browser out because we aren't working with a whole bunch of memory. I'm going to copy this into here. Uh, actually, I'll wait because I don't know if it's going to work anyways. Let's see if it works first. No point in saving something that doesn't work. Okay, it looks like it worked. We have the wireless network icon showing up here, and there's the uh, there's the network. So it looks like this is the correct driver. So I'm gonna copy this in here. Cancel this out. and we'll restart and now when we go back in it should operate properly Focus. Okay, I see the the pipper is down there. And we also have the wireless network thing here. And it's only a 2.4. Uh, it's not 5.8, which I would have expected it to only be 2.4. Why is this? Nobody wanted that. Uh, so here's the, my network, the sandwiches. Let's go ahead and connect. There's no pastor on there because there's just no need to have one. And it's acquiring the network address. And it's connected. And we got the pippers here, which are showing it's connected to uh, yeah, 54 megabits, which is as high as it's going to go. Whoops, and it's all blurry and it's gone anyways. So there we go, it's connected. The status is uh, unknown, but the signal strength is excellent. Okay, so that's good. It worked perfectly fine under Windows XP, the utility is not managing the networks. Um, I'm using Windows to manage it, which I think is easier. So that's good. That's all set. Let's go into uh, Windows 7 now. Now, Windows 7 may be a little bit more tricky because the driver is written for Windows XP and Windows XP only. So, there doesn't really exist necessarily a driver for Windows 7. It's very possible that the one that's written for XP can just be installed 
in compatibility mode and work perfectly fine. It's also possible that Windows 7 will automatically find and install the driver because it is a fair bit better at doing that than previous versions of Windows were such as Windows XP. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the device manager. I don't want that opening up. Why is that opening? I have to pull some stuff out of the startup sequence inherently. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's already installed by itself. So, inherently, it was able to go onto the internet and fetch the driver. So now the question becomes, do we see it? Here we go. Connect automatically. Connect. Connect without setting it up because it's already set up. Ready to use. That's good. Close that out. And there it is. It's connected. Excellent, 54. So it's getting the same, uh, uh, the same signal as, as it was on the other system. So perfect. So that uh, was painless to get that installed. And it's working properly under both operation systems.